I wanted to find out what is the flame color of uranium and thorium. Radium supposedly has a red flame color, but as with much of the basic research on radioactive elements, it's decades old and the quantities they used back then are simply just unimaginable. However, what we do have is larger quantities of ammonium diuronate, thorium nitrate and concentrated hydrochloric acid. As for equipment, we need two containers, a spatula, a syringe and some creativity. Since we've seen in periodic videos that the f flux element like lutetium require high temperatures for the flame color, let's light up the propane oxygen flame. Let's skip the magnesium oxide sticks since they are all dirty anyway. However, we can use a fresh needle made from iron, nickel and chromium. First, I wanted to test if we can simply drop the substance onto it. The flame is so hot that I expected the drop to evaporate immediately. But there was a failure. How about balancing the drop on the needle? Aha! I see green! But is it really from the uranium or is it just from the needle? What I have here is a quartz glass tube into which I carefully pipetted a drop of the urinal solution. And? It's blue! So the green color was probably from the metal of the needle. But now we know that the flame color of uranium is blue. Or is it? Let's be sure as this would be a very cool discovery and to avoid anything that could influence the flame color let's use a platinum wire. The ultimate material when it comes to purity. And as we can see there's nothing with the uranium. What about thorium? It's almost disappointing, well at least now we know the answer to the question what is the flame color of uranium and thorium? They don't have one. Unfortunately, it would have been nice for the video if they did, but as I was looking for the answer of the question, I couldn't find anything and if anyone else is wondering about this question and doesn't have the access to chemicals like these, here are my results. As much as I would have liked to stop a green, the scientific method also involves self-reflection and not always believing the results that suit you best on a given day. With that, goodbye!